Hello and welcome to the 37th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at arrays. Arrays are a series of values with the same data type placed in memory next to each other and they can be individually accessed using an index. So let's just show you how this works in C++, very similar in many other languages as well. So to create an array, it's very similar how you to how you would create a variable. So you put your data type, so we'll put int, then you put the name of your array, we'll put i, then in square brackets you put how many elements you want your array to hold. We're just going to put five to keep it nice and simple. And this declares an array called i of five integers. What you can alternatively do is do equals, and then you can assign the initial value. So we're going to do twenty, and then to put a different value, you separate it with a comma. 45, 23, 5, triple 7, sorry about that, that was just my phone. And now if we were to run this, this still works A-OK. -okay. And what we're going to do, you can also just omit the actual number of elements if you specify the actual value initially, because by, there, by that the compiler will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the 5 elements, so it's going to be an array of size 5. But we're going to put 5 anyway, because it just, oh, we prefer it. Uh, and the reason we prefer it is because we know we can look at it and think, if we have any elements when we initialize it, great, but if we don't, we know the, the exact size, but again, it's just it's totally up to you. And to access an element in that array, we're just going to see out the fourth element, the little key here. Let's just do to the end line. And what you might think to access the four, fourth element, you do something and then you access number four, index four. You don't, if you've done any sort of computer science or anything to do with computers before, you'll know that instead of starting at one, going one, two, three, four, five, etc., you start at zero, so it goes zero, one, two, three, four, etc. So if we want to access the fourth element, we would do i square brackets, not put four, but put three, because this is at index zero, index one, index two, and index three, aka the fourth element. So if we run that, it will print out five instead of printing out. 23 as you might think if it's 1, 2, 3 and 4 and to modify it, it is the same as well so if we just do i 3 and we just assign the value 4, 5, 6 now if we just simply copy and paste this so we can print it out run it and it prints out 4, 5, 6 after we have assigned the value 4, 5, 6, 2 element free in the array of integers called i that's it for this tutorial arrays are really easy to use but they are immensely powerful and you will probably use these a lot. In the next part, we're going to be looking at multi-dimensional arrays. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. Whatever you feel comfortable with is A-OK. -okay. All the recorded links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.